to understand what causes cancer, Cancer Research UK scientists are sequencing billions of letters of DNA a day. To understand this massive and complex data, we need future scientists who are proficient in not just biology, but also math, physics, and even computer programming or coding. As part of our mission to inspire the next generation, our DNA code breaking project brings scientists into the classroom. Using a mini computer lab, we show students and teachers how to program computers to read DNA code. Today's challenge for the students is to convert a string of DNA that we give them into a, a real protein from human genome that they can then load into um, a, an internet database that will identify that exact protein and tell us whether it's a healthy version or a mutated version. For the school, um, it's been really, really useful to work with um, CRUK and all the volunteers and give the students the opportunity to see how science is applied in real life. Whenever you teach programming, there's, there's the moment when it clicks. So it works? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Cool. And that's the, the most satisfying part, I think, for me. People just think it's, you go into gaming, you play games, and this is a genuine, real-life application which can help save loads of lives. I want to have an idea of what people do when they, um, when they say that they're doing cancer research to see what's going on. I actually think about how they do it. The whole internet social life is based on coding, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, really... you feel like you're a step ahead yeah. of everyone yeah, else. Yeah, do. <laughs> So with our project, we're hoping to get students and teachers thinking about coding in a completely new context, biology. Because in the end, it is the multidisciplinary approach that pushes science and cancer research forward and ultimately leads to discovery of new treatments and basic understanding of human health and disease. Mm -hmm.